Good morning, kids! Welcome to another day of our class. It is another day of fun and learning. I am Teacher Frel, your teacher in Math 3, Quarter 1, Week 4. Milk Base Our lesson for today is about the value of coins and bills. Kids, are you ready to listen? Let's get started! Objective Compares values of the different denominations of coins and bills through 1,000 pesos using relation symbols. Philippine money exists in coins and bills. Coins is a flat, typically round piece of metal with an official stamp used as money. For example, 10 peso coin. Bills is printed on paper that is rectangular shape with an official stamp used as money. For example, the 20 pesos bill. Philippine peso or peso is the official money of the Philippines. This symbol is used for peso or sometimes written as PHP. For example, 50 pesos. In words, it is written like this, 50 pesos. Amounts less than 1 peso are written as centavos or centimos. This is the symbol used for centavos. Like for example, 25 centavos. Or in word, it is written like this, 25 centavos. Here are the different types of Philippine coins. Let us see first the different centavo coins. First is 1 centavo or isang centimo. Next is 5 centavo or limang centimo. Next is 10 centavo or sampung centimo. And the next is 25 centavo or dalawamputlimang centimo. These coins are what we call centavo coins. There are also peso coins. These are 1 peso or piso, 5 peso or limang piso, 10 peso or sampung piso, 20 peso or dalawampung piso. These are the different peso coins. Now, let's see the different types of Philippine bills. Philippine bills also called peso bills. First is 20 peso or dalawampung piso. Next is 50 peso or limampung piso. Next is 100 peso or isandaang piso. Another peso bills are 200 peso or dalawang daang piso. Next is 500 peso or limang daang piso. And the last bill is 1,000 peso or isang libong piso. These are the different types of peso bills. Let's compare the value of different denominations. Let us compare 1,000 to 500. 1,000 peso bill is greater than 500 peso bill. Next, let's compare 50 pesos to 100 pesos. 50 peso bill is less than 100 peso bill. Let's compare 20 peso bill to 20 peso coin. 20 peso bill is equal to 20 peso coin. They are equal. Next, let's compare 200 peso to 
100 pesos. 200 peso bill is greater than 100 peso bill. Next, let's compare 2 pieces of 10 peso coin to 20 pesos. 2 pieces of 10 peso coin is also 20 pesos. So they are equal. Next, let's compare 2 pieces of 5 peso coin to 10 pesos. They are also equal because 2 pieces of 5 peso coins also 10 pesos. They are equal. Next, let's compare 4 pieces of 25 centavos to 1 peso. 4 pieces of 25 centavos is also 1 peso. So they are equal. Next, let's compare 5 pieces of 1 peso coin to 5 pesos. 5 pieces of 1 peso coin also 5 pesos. So they are equal. Next, let's compare 2 pieces of 500 peso bill to 1,000. 2 pieces of 500 peso bill also 1,000. So they are equal. Next, let's compare 2 pieces of 50 peso bill to 100. 2 pieces of 50 peso bill also 100. So they are equal. Next, let's compare 5 pieces of 20 peso bill to 100 peso bill. 5 pieces of 20 peso bill is also 100. So they are equal. Next, let's compare 5 pieces of 100 peso bill to 500 peso bill. 5 pieces of 100 peso bill is also 500 pesos. So they are equal. Kids, did you get it? Very good! Now it's time for your activities. Compare the amounts. Write the correct symbol inside the box. Number 1. What is the correct symbol for this? Is it greater than, less than, or equal? Correct. 5 pieces of 5 peso coins are 25 pesos compared to 10 pesos. So the greater amount of money is 25 pesos. 25 pesos is greater than 10 pesos. Let's see number 2. Which amount is greater? What is the correct symbol? Is it greater than, less than, or equal? Very good! 8 pieces of 1 peso bill is 8 pesos compared to 5 pesos. It means 8 pesos is greater than 5 pesos. Number 3. Write the correct symbol. Is it greater than, less than, or equal? Very good! 400 pesos. 500 pesos. So it means 400 pesos is less than 500 pesos. Number 4. Write the correct symbol. Is it greater than, less than, or equal? Correct! 200 pesos compared to 100 pesos. So it means 200 pesos is greater than 100 pesos. Number 5. What is the correct symbol? Is it greater than, less than, or equal? Correct! 1 peso compared to 1 peso. So the answer is equal. Number 6. What is the correct symbol? Is it greater than, less than, or equal? Correct! 1,000 pesos compared to 1,000 peso bill. So the answer is equals. Next activity. Write each amount in symbols and in words. Write your answer in your notebook. How much is this money? Correct! The answer is 615 pesos or in words 615 pesos
Number two, how much is this? Very good! 52 pesos and 75 centavos. In words, it is written like this. 52 pesos and 75 centavos. Number three, how much is this? Very good! It is 770 pesos. In words, it is written like this. 770 pesos. Number four, how much is this? Very good! It is 465 pesos and 50 centavos. In words, it is written like this. 465 pesos and 50 centavos. Number five, how much is this? Very good! It is 870 pesos. In words, it is written like this. 870 pesos. Kids, are your answers correct? Very good, kids! Remember, Philippine money exists in coins and bills. Coins is flat, typically round piece of metal with an official stamp used as money. For example, the 10 peso coin. Bills is printed on paper that is rectangular shape with an official stamp used as money. For example, the 20 peso bill. Kids, did you understand our topic today? Very good! So again, we learn about the value of coins and bills. Kids, I hope you enjoy our lessons today. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids!